Good morning, trendsetters. It is a Friday today. I'm out here solo. Uh, I thought I'd bring the camera anyway. I, you know, these solo rides, it's hard to make an interesting video out of, but, um, pfft, you know, I, I just can't go for a ride without bringing the camera, just in case, you know, something cool happens. It has been wet, 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 wet. I haven't seen blue sky and sunshine for a couple of weeks now, which I find quite depressing cabin fever being stuck at home you know how it is i don't know how some of you guys can live in uh, those countries and climates where it rains constantly but um yeah it's I, I just had to come out today i haven't we haven't ridden for a couple of few weeks now obviously um as some of you guys will know we've been busy with uh, buying our first house anyway so that's taken up a lot of our time and focus um there is bound to be quite a lot of water around so that's probably going to make things interesting lots of water and lots of mud Anyways, aside from getting out for some two-wheel therapy, uh, I kind of need to get a bit more footage and, you know, finish up this GoPro Hero 10 review, so uh, I'm going to do that while I'm out here as well. And I did happen to spot on HEMA maps, there's a fire tower that I don't think I know about, so um, I've marked that on my map here and I'm going to see if I can find it. So yeah, that'll be cool. Otherwise, I'm just out here cruising around, enjoying some skids and seeing how much water's lying around in the creeks and stuff. <laughs> That's the shit you gotta watch out for. Slippery. It's probably kind of funny that I say I, I hate the rain and wet weather. Being, you know, that I was born in probably the most rainiest, miserablest motherfucking country ever. New Zealand. So I'm kind of glad that uh, the parents brought us here when I was quite young. Because, uh, yeah. I just remember that place being so rainy. Bloody hell, this looks a bit rotted. Gotta be a little bit careful when you're out here by yourself, especially when it's slippery. Easily get into the shit. Oh man, some of this stuff, you just, your front wheel just starts going bloop, slipping sideways. Anyway, there's a creek down the bottom of this track which would be uh, interesting. It's normally just a little trickle. Well, it's a fast moving trickle now anyway. <laughs> Beautiful. It's always interesting along here after rain. already where was I supposed to go yeah uh, this could be interesting I think this is actual Elmore Creek <laughs> don't know if I want to go through that oh, that log used to be here to sort of keep the all the shit in but 
washed away. So yeah, I'm heading back along here now. I'm actually off course, so I think there might be another creek crossing. I go this other way. It's probably going to be just as bad. So. Go and have a look anyway. So it looks like this is where I was meant to go straight ahead. I just went down that track, which was down there. But there's no track here, Hema. Where the hell are you on? Hey. <laughs> the ass end sliding everywhere. Oh man, soft. At this point, it's barely even a cow track anymore. <laughs> Yeah, I think it's time to abort this one. Come on, T7. Yeah, baby. Righto, so for those following along at home, I'm just retracing my steps now. Gonna try another way to get across the main creek there. Ole mole. Hmm, doesn't look real promising, does it? Golden Tide GT 723s hanging onto that edge quite nicely. Back end went in. Oh no, look at this. This is looking bad now. Alright, I'm on a different track. It's pretty good so far. Up until now. <laughs> See if I can get the fat girl wedged in this rut. Close. <laughs> there. A little water crossing. Oh, weekdays out here, man. Just. Not a soul around. I haven't seen anybody since I got into the uh, into the forestry. I love it. Some people get freaked out, I suppose, by being out here by yourself and you know not having someone around to give you a hand if you need it. But uh, I love it. I love getting away from from town and people. And uh, beautiful. Anyway, let's. Uh, find another way to get to this fire tower found another sketchy track it's got a nice view though I can tell you one thing I'm really enjoying these uh, last few months we've got before uh, golden orb spider season kicks in the full gear Oops, big one Slippery. 
Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Classic rookie mistake. I didn't bring coffee, no thermos. I didn't bring anything to eat. All I got is water. Yeah, a bit of water across. Quite a bit. Who can feel it? sign out here one way on my ship. No overtaking or passing. What are the, who are they fucking kidding? <laughs> we get one car through here, one four-wheel drive through here per fucking year. Just make sure you don't overtake anybody on the bridge. We're getting close to this alleged fire tower soon. Pretty sure this is one side of the uh, what we call the Super Bowl here at Ammonmore. Big, big sort of uh, you know, valley in there with heaps of hill climby sort of tracks around there. Great for the little bikes. I bet you that's where it is up there. And uh. If you think I'm riding the T7 up that, you got another thing coming. Might be another way to get up there. So yeah, that's the Super Bowl. It's always good to have your number plate nice and dirty like that. Show me a fire tower. We're pretty much right on where it should be. What? You'd think that this would be it. Sort of the highest spot around here. Definitely nothing here. Except for a bit of uh, corrugated iron, maybe that's all that's left of it. We might follow this track and see where it goes. What? Do I go down this? Yes, of course I do. Do I regret it? Nah, looks alright. B a beautiful country out there. Look how green it is. Oh, magnifique. I love how those pine, you know, the pine regrowth looks on those hills, especially when it's all green like that. Beautiful. Show you guys a proper hill climb. <laughs> no, 
nah, not this. Just up here, there's one we call Big Purple. She's a freaking doozy. She's pretty gnarly. Well, I know a lot of you guys have only started watching us since we've been riding adventure bikes, but we used to do shit like this on our enduros back in the day. If you go back through some of our old videos, you'll find some, <laughs> find some uh, footage of that. I've gotten up it a few times. Yeah, <laughs> you got to commit. <laughs> There's no stopping halfway. You're going all the way, or you're crashing hard. There's a bit of a hill up here. This would be a bit of fun. Oh, been up it before on this bike, but it's probably going to be running out of the buggery now. Oh, fuck! <laughs> Ow. Holy shit, did you guys... I hope the camera caught that. That thing just jumped and swerved like in mid-air at me. <laughs> oh. Ah. Man, I've had close calls with marsupials like that before, but not quite that close. Jeez, I reckon he touched the bike. Anyway, there's a hill up here. Let's go. I had a feeling this last bit was going to be a little bit too much for second gear. For me, if I had got over that side, I would have been right. Yeah, just gets a little bit steep and ruddy on that last bit there. Anyway. Man, it's so hot. Could just to be able to lay down on that. Not much in there at all. But yeah, it's going to be slippery up here and it's uh, pretty steep in places. get down in those ruts I'm gonna be there for days it's just greasy even just coming down this is sketchy as eh, sliding Fuck. I don't think so. <laughs> little spot down here would be a good uh, good photo op I reckon now 
this looks like some silly shit. <laughs> Let's have some fun. Let's get stuck. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah, no worries. <laughs> 